I'm Ashton Addison from BlockWest Capital for Investment Pitch Media and the Crypto Coin Show. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Leo Machette, CEO of Decentralized Pictures Foundation, DCP. Leo, welcome to the show and thank you for taking the time to come on today. Thank you for having me. You're very welcome. I'm excited to dive into the film industry, democratizing access to capital, to resources, using blockchain technology to improve uh, all of the frictions in the industry. I would love for you to kick it off for us with a high level overview of DCP and what are some of the solutions you're focused on bringing? Yeah, so Decentralized Pictures Foundation is a, a, an organization focused on talent discovery and content curation. Uh, we're using blockchain uh, technology to help us achieve our goals um, and we, you know, are, are essentially democratizing the decision-making process of which artists, uh, you know, get a shot uh, to get their foot in the door in, in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. um, we intend on building out a virtual studio uh, of applications. Uh, so, you know, all the various departments you would find at, at, at a big studio. Uh, we're starting with the financing department. Uh, and the way that first application will work is users can submit their ideas to, to funding rounds that we will post to, to the, the web application and um, they will pay a fee to, to submit their idea. Uh, that fee actually doesn't go to the foundation, it gets locked into a smart contract and it incentivizes the rest of the community to review uh, and anyone who gives their opinion on the project uh, will earn a portion of that uh, submission fee, bounty if you will, uh, and uh, through that process, we'll aggregate data and um, certain projects will rise to the top uh, and we will shepherd uh, the winning project through the life cycle of the film. Uh, we've been reaching out for years now to uh, generate a production network um, to support artists that win and, uh, you know, help them package, co-finance and um, distribute and sell their, their films. Uh, so yeah, we're a talent discovery and content curation platform. Very cool, Leo. And you know, so many people go to the movies, they see uh, the big picture on the screen, they see the top actors in the movie, but I'm sure many of them have no idea, you know, how did those, what path did those actors take to try and get to the point where they're at? And also more importantly, you know, how did that film get chosen, get financed uh, to be, get to the big screen? And I think there's a lot of steps that uh, no one really hears about. And I'm guessing you're familiar with you know, the traditional fi uh, film industry and how easy or hard it is to get your film financed. Maybe you can talk a little bit about some of those problems that you pinpointed when uh, deriving the solution. Yeah, you know, uh, it's a very centralized industry. There's a, a relatively small group of decision makers that, um, you know, are good at what they do and they, they pick obviously great content. We all watch it in the theater and, and stream it online. Um, we're not necessarily trying to take a lane on, on their highway. We're, we're building a different highway uh, to get to the same place. So, you know, the difficulty and the problem we're solving, one of the problems we're solving is uh, what we call the drinking from a fire hose problem. So, you know, most of the big companies out there, agencies, uh, they won't take what's called unsolicited material. You can't just send them a script and say, hey, give this a read if you like it, call me and, and buy it, let's make this film. They, they just won't accept them. Mm -hmm. uh, part of the reason for that is, you know, relatively small development departments, acquisition departments, uh, you know, you would get so much inflow, it would be impossible to review it all. So the problem we're solving and the way we're solving it is by outsourcing that review to the world and we're incentivizing the world to help us with that review. And, mm -hmm. and through that process, we will get data uh, about which demographics, uh, any piece of content that is submitted, uh, it, you know, is striking a chord with. And uh, then when we go to our production network with these winning projects, we can go to them, not just with a script. Uh, it, it'll be, you know, a, a very detailed report of who's responding well to this piece of content. Mm -hmm. So um, we're, we're creating a new avenue for aspiring artists uh, to, you know, 
get their content into the hands of people that can help them execute their visions and bring their their projects to life. Um, Definitely, yeah. yeah it, it feels like a like a, a Kickstarter for for films. You know, as a film watcher, I want to watch. You know, I know what kind of material I like rather than ha having the, the top producers, you know, analyze what they think I might like. Uh, I can actually invest into a film that I want to see be created from the beginning before it's even made. So I think that's that's super cool. Well, j just to clarify, you know, Kickstarter, Indiegogo, some of these, you know, crowdsource or crowd financing platforms are one thing. That is not what we are. We are actually the ones financing the winning projects. We are actually, rather than asking our community to give money to finance these projects, we're flipping it and saying, hey, you will be paid to give your opinion and tell us which project we should finance. Uh, so uh, it, it is not a crowdfunding platform. It is mm -hmm. a crowdsourcing of intelligence data platform. Mm -hmm, definitely. Well, it's still great to be able to give your uh, opinion, you know, uh, pre-production on what you think you'd like to see. Um, so that, that, that is still uh, great to include people in that. And I know that your team's been working on this for, for a little bit and there's still a lot to go. Maybe you can talk about, you know, the uh, inception of Decentralized Pictures, how long your team's been working on the project now. Yeah, I mean... We've been thinking about it for a very long time in, uh, you know, late 2015 when Ethereum launched and smart contracts were, you know, becoming a reality, uh, you know, we were conceiving uh, ways uh, to, to bring it to, to our space. Uh, and um, I think end of 2016, 2017, we, you know, started putting together a team to you build it, raise money to um, start, you know, conceptualizing how it could work. And, you know, we initially thought, hey, you know, distribution is a huge issue that, you know, there's so much disruption that could happen there with all of the various territories and sales agents and all the intermediate parties between the the you know purchaser of a movie ticket or uh you know the person who's paying to to stream something and the actual artist who created the ip everyone is kind of taking their their pound of flesh as it goes down through that waterfall um <clears throat> but you know there's very significant incumbent inertia at that end of the film life cycle so you know we thought everyone wants to get their film finance. There's so many great ideas mm -hmm. out there. There's so many great artists. Let's start at the other end. Let's start with financing and, um, you know, let's discover some great talent and, and see how we can use blockchain efficiently to, to do that. And I, I think we are, you know, we're, we're uh, creating transparency in the voting process, which is important because we're giving away significant amounts of money. Um, we're creating value uh, for the participants in our ecosystem with our, our economy uh, of idea submitters and idea evaluators. And, uh, you know, we're creating efficiency with um, dynamically paying out people for, for doing work and, and, you know, participating in this intended incentivized behavior that we've, you know, built into this application. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, uh, it, I'm, I'm interested to learn more in, you know, as a, as an evaluator of a film, you know, my incentives are, uh, are my incentives financially motivated or am I looking at, you know, what should I give a critical opinion on the film? Will you still be, uh, you know, incentivized to do so if you're not going to make as much money? Um, should you, uh, you know, is there any trick to how that you've built out the ecosystem to sort of keep everything in line with you know good moral principles yeah so um we have a moderation process where uh the community will actually self spam filter so anyone in the community can apply to be a moderator they will post a bond to a smart contract during their time as a moderator to disincentivize colluding with 
uh, participants, uh, you know, at the risk of losing their bond. The bond is significant. Um, we're a sm relatively small team. You know, we know we can't police uh, an ecosystem on our own, and we want to decentralize that process. So we feel like the community um, self-censoring really is the best way to do that. Uh, we don't want to try and define what's art and what's not. Um, that's a very difficult question and very subjective. And, uh, you know, so our, our goals starting out and, you know, this is a moving target and we plan to, to evaluate as we go to, to make it better. But mm -hmm. um, essentially content should fit within the MPA rating system. So between G and NC17, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're not a pornography site where we don't want to promote hate speech or you know, terrorist recruiting videos or anything like that. Uh, we want to, to not try and define what's art and what's not, but we also can't filter everything on our own. So mm -hmm. yeah, um, outsourcing that to the community, just like outsourcing the decision-making process about what projects are, are deserving of financing, what artists are deserving of our support. Um, that, so yeah, that's how we're going about that. Yeah, definitely. Totally makes sense, Leo. And uh, great that you mentioned that as well. And it's interesting to hear about the, the bond mechanism. And you talked a little bit uh, in the last question just about the ecosystem incentivizing you know, the, the evaluators. And I'm guessing that also has to, uh, to do a little bit with the DCP, Decentralized Pictures, token ecosystem. Maybe you can talk about just the, the token itself the main functionalities and, and how it's used throughout the ecosystem. And you mentioned creating a sustainable ecosystem. Yeah, so we've um, uh, built a decentralized, uh, well, we, we've stood on the shoulders of giants and forked software to create our own blockchain. I shouldn't say we've built one, um, but we are, we are creating our own chain. And uh, so the token will be used to, to pay gas fees for anyone who wants to build on top of that chain. It'll pay gas fees and um, be used as an incentive mechanism with all within all of the you know applications in our virtual studio ecosystem. Um, but specifically to the financing application, uh, it's used uh, as an incentive mechanism for for the behavior, uh, and so um, people can can use it to submit their project ideas. Uh, people can earn it by giving their opinion. Uh, on either project ideas or creative queries. Anyone can post a, a subjective question to the community and, and target it to specific demographics. Um, and people will earn for giving their opinion on those types of questions. Uh, and and uh, so, yeah, we've, uh, the, the token ha has many uses. We're even, you know, talking with companies about using it to license software, uh, to, to get subscriptions to streaming services. Um, and, you know, we're going to promote it, uh, other organizations or, or individuals who want to, to build arts and culture focused applications in uh, our ecosystem as well. Um, so it, it will be used uh, as a um, as really the fuel to, to our ecosystem and, mm -hmm. and the blockchain itself. Very interesting. Yeah, I didn't know that uh, you're creating an entire protocol. So that's really interesting to hear. Um, Looking forward to seeing how that plays out. And, and and speaking of that, I'd love to hear just a little bit about the future plans. You know where you're at right now, and what are the main milestones you and your team are looking to get out into the public. You know by the end of this year and beyond. Yeah, so um, we're focused on uh, launching what we're calling the beta net, and that's that underlying infrastructure, that blockchain. Uh, we're also very focused on a fair launch, so. Uh, for the beta net phase, um, we will allow anyone who wants to run a node and help us decentralize and secure the network, validate uh, to have an equal stake uh, and start at the beginning where everyone has an equal stake in the network mm -hmm. uh, as it's a proof of stake uh, consensus. Um, so uh, we're, we're hopefully in the next, well, I don't, I don't want to put a specific date on it, but very soon we will be releasing that software and and allowing people to start validating and mining uh, on the network. Uh, so so that's uh, our immediate goal right now. Um, at the end of that beta net phase, uh, we will 
transition to mainnet and launch our first application, which is the financing application that I did, uh, described earlier. Uh, and, and we're also working on um, some other applications as well, and hopefully we'll get those out in, in early 2022. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're very excited about getting the mainnet out and uh, you know, making sure that we follow fair launch principles. Um, we will be selling our, our tokens at the same price that any of the early purchasers uh, got in the same amount. So you know, we had to sell some, some tokens to get where we are now uh and um you know we're lucky enough to have great uh supporters and, and people who understand that to to sell them at the same price to the general public it will help we hope galvanize the community and, and um, build confidence that we are trying to launch this in as fair a way as possible mm -hmm. so yeah th those are our immediate goals great uh well i'm looking forward to seeing all that come to fruition uh, for the viewers that are looking to follow along with Decentralized Pictures as you continue to grow, what's the best place for them to learn more and get involved in the community? Uh, head over to our website. You can uh, read about uh, the mission and our, our applications there. Uh, it's decentralized.pictures. Um, and uh, we will also be releasing a, a website for uh, the network uh, software uh, that you can download and help us uh, participate in, in uh, validating and, and you know running the network. Um, our our goal is to decentralize it and uh, you know rely on our community to help us upgrade it and and be part of the decision making process uh, on which direction it should go. So yeah. Um, our website, our Twitter, we have a Medium page as well. Um, I'm not sure if you can put links uh, to this somewhere, but yep. we'd be happy to share those with you. Definitely, yeah. I'll leave all the links in the description box below as well for the viewers, so no worries on that part. Uh, well, thank you so much for taking the time to come on, Leo. All the best with Decentralized Pictures moving forward and the launch, and let's follow up in the near future. Thank you so much for having me, Ashton. I really appreciate it, and yeah, um, We'll keep you posted.